Hey, so if you're watching this, you probably want a very simple explanation on either how to find your Minecraft worlds and back them up or do something else with them, like edit, or uh, use a Minecraft world that you downloaded from a website, such as like Planet Minecraft or something. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And keep in mind, these instructions are for default macOS settings. So if you've flipped a couple switches in macOS settings or in Finder or whatever, your screen may look slightly different from mine. But I had actually done a little bit of that beforehand last time I did this, so this time we're going to start from square one. We've just installed Minecraft. How do we do this? Well, actually, it's insanely easy to do now in this Minecraft version. I'll show you how to do it for old versions in a little bit, but for the past few years, you've been able to go into your Minecraft worlds list in the game itself, go to edit, and then go to open world folder. That will actually open the world data folder for this particular world, Blaubatino. So, whoops, what the hell? Okay, that was weird. I had to figure out how to get that back. All right, so in here is all the world data, and here's the icon for the world, and here's your uh, player data in here, stuff like that. This is for other players, like if you're playing on a LAN. But how do we see our other worlds? That's actually extremely easy now. So if you hover over this, the folder name right here, the world name up here, you can actually right click, or if you're on a MacBook, you can two fingers on a trackpad, click, and that should bring up a little list. This is actually the directory structure. So is the first folder, then this, then this, and this, and this. If you want to go up one folder, you can just click saves. And bam, here's the list of, uh, of worlds that we can see in our um, actual game here. So that's nice and simple, but that, that only existed in this game for the past few years. But if that's all you wanted to do, fantastic. You're now here, you can now go download a world. Here's one I found, Craptopia, Cra yeah, Craptopia Season 3. All right, so let's get the file here. It may take you a few minutes to actually figure out how to get the damn download started, but once it is downloaded, you know, close any ads that pop up, of course. And please note, uh, a lot of worlds will take a very long time to download and a lot of storage space. So it's wise not to go on a massive download spree for Minecraft worlds because they can get pretty large, take a while to download, and may not even work in your Minecraft version. So whatever world you want to use, you need to make sure that it's compatible with your Minecraft version. Or just go hog wild and see what happens anyway. It could be fun. Anyway, this world is quite large. It is almost three gigabytes in size and many computers that you guys will be using won't even have a couple hundred of those. So yeah, it's pretty large. I just really wish this would go faster so I can finish the tutorial. All right, now that that's done, you might find that we can't actually open this in anything that we have installed uh, by default on macOS. So I actually have another program I have to get. There's different types of these, but the one I use is called Kekka. Now I don't bother with the Mac App Store. You can just go down here and click download the latest version and it'll get you a DMG. Just double click that. And of course, it's just how you install an app, right? So you would put it in your applications folder, but I can't because I'm on a different account. So, okay, let's put it on my desktop. And actually, all you really have to do is drag this raw file onto that application that's supposed to extract it. And this application asks you what uh, folder you want to extract it to. I'll just put it in my downloads. And depending on how large your world is, it'll be done in a few seconds. And there we are. Here is the world, and you can see this world is very large. It has a lot of um, region world files, but let's put this in the game. All we have to do is, once we're in that saves folder, drag this world into the saves folder, and bam, it's now there. Now, if we go back into Minecraft, it's actually not there. We might have to go out of the menu and back in. There we go. Sometimes you might have to restart your game and then go in here, and then it'll be there, but... This one seems to already be there, and here we are. Also, pro tip, if cheats aren't enabled in the world you're in, uh, you don't actually have to go and NBT edit anything um, or change anything like that. You can just go into open to LAN and then allow commands on, start the LAN world, and then you should be able to do, uh, you know, commands. So I just, wow. I pulled a night girl opening the spotlight there, but anyway. So yeah, here's a world that I just imported. Now that's great for the newest versions of Minecraft, but what if you're playing a version from say 10 years ago, like everyone in the PVP community is? Well, I have a solution for you too. So this folder is actually hidden, but if you can't get here, by the way, I just showed you, just open up a new finder window. Your screen will look a little bit more barren than mine, but that's okay, because all you have to do is do uh, command J on your keyboard, hold down command and press J at the same time, then navigate to the bottom of this window and click show library folder. Once you've done that, you can close that little window and this new folder called library will have appeared. Open that, then go into application support and these are sorted by name uh, by default, so you can go down 
to the M's and here's Minecraft. Open that up and we can now navigate to the saves folder which is right here. And this is where we just were. Another cool thing you can do is if you hover over the saves folder, if you're doing a lot of stuff with your saves folder, you can literally just drag this over to the side. Don't put it in like a folder here, put it like on the thin line and let your mouse go and bam. We now have a saves folder that we can navigate to whenever we want. Let's just make it a list so it's nice. So yeah, nice zippy way to get there once you've already been there. And that's about it. Check out my other stuff. Thanks for watching.